Hi, Sukune007 here, and welcome back to Let's Play. And again, I make the same. <laughs> Hi, Sukune007 here, and welcome back to Let's Play Yu Yu Hakusho Tournament Tactics. In our last episode, we defeated more monsters, and we're ready to move on. Uh, Krama. Yeah, we had that, and I had that. Alright, yeah, just remembering who I had, I died in the last, I did a take of this and I, the whole team died. I know, that's not like me, but, either way, welcome back to part number 26 of Let's Play Yu Yu Hakusho Tournament Tactics. I'm Sukune 7 but, you guys knew that already. Alright. I know what I wanted to talk to you guys about. Um, to all of my fans who watch me in, over there in, um, in England, um, this goes out directly to you. So, uh, without any further ado, let me talk about this. There's a um, TV show over there that I watch on, um, on the internet here. Uh, in the United States. Yes, I live in the United States and yet I'm talking about a British game show. And yes, this is a British game show. But either way, the fact of the matter is there's a TV game show on ITV1 called The Exit List. And as of episode 4, the ratings had dropped a little bit on there. So any of you who kind of like these type of game shows, please help bring the exit list back up. ABC over here in the United States is trying to acquire the rights to this show to, to show it over here. And I would love to see this show be done over here in the United States. I would definitely love to, see, to have this show over here and... Even the chance to go on it, maybe. I would love that. I would love to have that chance to go on a game show that started out in England and then ended up on uh, U.S. soil. And that, wow, I'm just surprised that that sword did a hundred and something damage. Uh, once again, this is a map that we have to clear all the enemies off. So, yeah. So, to all my UK visitors out there, please help bring that up. The ratings up for that. I would love to see that show succeed and not fall dead in the dead on the water. And um, anyway, which brings me to the next topic I wanted to tell you guys about. I ordered off of eBay, and yes, I ordered something else off of eBay. I know what you're thinking, but Sukune, what did you order? I'd be glad to tell you. I ordered off of eBay the home edition to the game to the British game show The Million Pound Drop. And I'm going to be doing an anime version on that. I had to stop the anime version of Golden Balls that I was working on because it became a little bit too tedious with how I was doing the recordings and tapings of that, so I'm going to pick that one up, redo, redo it, do it better, and I'm going to be working also with the anime version of the Million Pound Drop. So to my anime otaku fans out there, to people who watch anime in general, and to people who watch my videos in general, if you guys have your favorite characters that you would like to see in these videos, or participate please don't be hesitant to send me a PM about it and I would be gladly to accept any any anime character that would fit this bill that could work on the for um, the million pound drop I would need a team I would need two people to help out with that so it'd have to be a team like, for instance, Naoto and Sasuke, or Naoto and Hinata, or 
you know, people like that. You can suggest any two people for the million pound drop. Just in the in the chat when you send the uh, PM to me, just let me know if it's for the million pound the anime million pound drop. Please put A one P D on that, and then for the anime golden balls, put A G B on that for that. And I am serious about these things, so... Because my second love besides anime and doing LPs is... I love game shows. I've tried out millions of times for... Who wants to be a millionaire and then... Uh, I've came... I haven't come close to actually getting on the show. But... I've been through the contestant tryout for it. So... I know what you're thinking. I'm going to keep trying. I'm definitely going to keep trying because I'm a big fan of Who Wants to Be a Millionaire ever since when Regis hosted that show. And yes, I remember when Regis hosted that. It was like, you know, the greatest game show ever. So let's see something. Let's take that back. Let's go to here because then I can, I can get the... No, it's the cold spires. Yes. Attack multiple people and do multiple damage to it. But I know that this whole video so far has been just me talking about these game shows and everything, but I kind of enjoy the British game shows. The more questions than uh, some of our reality game shows that we have here in the United States. Who wants to see Survivor for the umpteenth time when you already know what the show's about? I mean... I don't like Survivor. I'm not a big fan of Survivor. I'm not a fan of Big Brother. I'm not a fan of the X Factor or American Idol, though. You know, I occasionally watch it if there's nothing else on Fox. I know that the X Factor did start over in England with Simon Cowell, who started American Idol, who was one of the judges on American Idol, yes. And who also starred, he started out as a contestant on the UK version of Sail of the Century, something a lot of people do not know. But, you know, now you know, you can look that up, Simon Cowell on Sail of the Century. And he was, he won. I don't know how long he was on the show for, but he won the game that I saw that he played it. And that was kind of interesting to see someone that, who we see as like Simon Cowell, the judge from American Idol being on a game show starting out and here he is creating, you know, these other shows. So, yeah, let me know about that for all those game shows if you have ideas that you would like to see and for that. So, that's how that Excuse me, that's how that's going to work. And... And you just get poisoned for some reason, or toxic. That's a spirit gun in the sky. He's level 16, I think we're a little bit higher than that. Yeah, we're level 19. But... You know, I'm a big fan of those British game shows. Especially The Chase. I love that idea for a game show. That would, that would do so good over here, I think, in the, uh, the in the United States. Would they bring over the chasers from the British version? I hope so. But, you know, I think they're a little bit smarter than the U.S. We've kind of proved that by having game shows such as Are You Smarter Than a Fifth Grader? It's just appalling that half of the people in the United States are not smarter than a fifth grader. Never a big fan of that show. I'm not a big fan of just It's... You know, I saw the... A little bit of the Canadian version of that. And lo and behold, they get the bald guy from who won, from whose line is it anyway to host the Colin Mockery. And yet, Colin can host the game show so much better than Jeff Foxworthy. 
you could just put Drew Carey on that show. He'd probably make it a hit. Or Regis. You know, someone who knows the industry. Someone who's a big game show guru like Regis. Regis did Who Wants to Be a Millionaire and now look at it. We wouldn't have the biggest phenomenon in, t- in game showing. The game showing. I'm not even sure if that's a word. But, you know, Alex Trebek, the guy who hosted, um, can I say, the guy who hosted Russian Roulette on uh, GSN. Uh, Mark, uh, Mark Wahlberg. I think he would be a great host for maybe the exit list if they brought it over to the States. He has that kind of suspense to him, but please don't, don't get like somebody like Todd Newton to host it. No, Todd Newton's a no in my book. He, he's the, he's like the Death Star to game show, in the game show industry. The guy can't host a game show. I'm, I'm dead serious. Yeah, that attack's it's gonna do a lot of damage. Probably gonna feel that one in the morning. But, let's back, use K up. And we're gonna use the overdrive spirit gun on this guy, kill him off. But yeah, that's my little rant on my on my other hobbies. But I love I like it. It's you know, it's it's fun. I'm a big fan of Jeopardy. I try to watch it anytime I can and I know I'm re- I'm recording this when uh over that, but you know, I have a schedule to keep with these uploads for you guys. So, you know, I gotta keep those. Gotta keep my gotta keep my schedule up to date with um And yeah, that's not gonna reach. So Yeah, the Rose Rip only fits so much. Uh seventy nine then a thirty one, so we just took him thirty one more damage off of him. And yet Let's get Chu to get some action in on this guy here. Because we do know that Yusuke is probably low on spirit energy. Yeah, I don't even think we could use the spirit gun. Oh, we can, but, you know, I'm just going to have him here charge up his spirit energy. Get some of it back. And he gains back 127 of it. So we'll bring Toya up. And uh, yeah, I just paused there for a second and uh, Rose Whip this guy again for another 30. Ooh, and you're gonna attack Karama. Let's see. Toyo's Overdrive with the Ice Sword. Ah, yes, the, the picture animation from the show. Gotta love those pictures. I love it when they show those attacks like for the for the big ones. So anyway, to my fans out there of that wanna see me do these anime game shows, if you wanna see anybody appear on the anime version of Golden Balls that I'm gonna be working on, please list your characters and next to it A G B on that and I'm just checking to see what else we can do so for here let's increase his power Toya leveled up and for that we're going to increase his movement because we want to have him move further no one else leveled up true didn't even get any kills in there so we're gonna go back and we're gonna take care of this the one down here at the bottom and then we're gonna go up so for this team, we're going to have Yusuke, Jin, uh, not Toya, we're going to have Kuwabara, we're going to include Hiei, and we're going to include Yukina for this team. So yes, we got to bring Yukina, we need her desperately to gain some levels. Jin probably can attack from where he is with a flyby kick. No, I got to be here. So yes, this is another one of those 
kill, destroy all enemies. 45, not bad. And... Yeah. So he can not do anything, so... And Yukina, we're gonna move here. And then we have those guys again up there that are paying in the uh, rump roast to take care of. This guy here. And everything, so. Yep. Yeah, but anyway, that takes care of probably what I had to say about that. So, you know, I hope to hear from you. For that, so, you know, if you want to see uh, your favorite anime characters, if you guys want to see people from even, from, you know, like the LP of this that I'm doing, from Yu Yu Hakusho, let me know. I would be glad to uh, incorporate that. So, ooh, three people take damage on that. And, yeah, just attack Yukina. Though, I kind of, and I don't want he to die. So, I'm going to try to do everything I can to keep him alive. Because we all know when Amber lands, I'm, ooh, Miss Jin. And we're going to use Overdrive, and we're going to use that. So, hopefully she'll get another, uh, yep, 52. So, and she's only level 13. And we're going to use the Darkness Flame on that. And, of course, Kobar's attacks are all with the Spirit Sword. And these guys are going to move up here. And next we have the Grade to Use K to probably... Shoot up this minotaur. And yes, 151 damage. That's how powerful the great use K is. Fly by kick. Alright, so we do 50 to that guy. And of course, Yukina. Probably do a little bit less, 32, so that's uh, not sure. So we'll go here. Now this is how you take care of everything, with that. And anyway, once we get back to this, and anyway, we're going to call it a video here. Until next time, when it's Yukina's turn, I'm Tsukine007, and this has been Let's Play Yu Yu Hakusho Tournament Tactics. Take care, everybody. Bye-bye.